Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking you through in real time how I am going to transform this on the right. This body systems matching activity into what you see on the left, which is going to be a, a sort of drag and drop activity for the students to do in pairs. Um, since in class they would have these handouts, they would have all the pieces cut, and they would be able to... Um, move them around and this is just going to be a digital adaptation version and since I'm in the process of making it right now I figured I would just walk you guys through how I'm doing this. I already took a snip of the first two so the annoying thing is that my laptop is kind of small and I cannot minimize this any further. Let me move this. So I can't minimize this and that means I need to take smaller snips in order to even just be able to fit anything. So here I'm just gonna continue taking my snips. Story time consuming. I'm gonna copy, close that, paste it here, then move on to the other two. I think I'm just gonna man, I can't switch these. What if I just you know go over here? Does that change anything? Nope. So I guess I just made life harder for myself. Um, I, I'm just gonna close this. Alright, so now onto the next two. I'm just gonna wait for this excess stuff to disappear. Thank you. Make another snip. Way down here. Man, I cut off some parts. So this function has been literally saving my life during these times. At least it's sort of a, it's an activity that students can do in groups and it's collaborative to some degree. I'll go back and fix all the other extra black spaces and lines here later. Another snip. Oh no, that was in the way, dang it. I'm gonna move this up a little more. <sighs> So initially, I was going to have, I was going to make a table on um, Google Docs and have students print it out or use it as a reference in making their own table in their notebooks. And I'm still going to have them do that, but um, I thought that table was going to replace this group activity. And then I was like, you know, they don't have much of these groups activities. They don't have many of these group activities in the first place, so I didn't want to take that away from them. <coughs> Man, I just choked on my own saliva, and this is about time for me to adjust this. I'm going to make this a little bit longer just so I can hopefully fit in everything. That's what it looks like. Everything is a little spread out now. I'm gonna have to really fix this later. Okay. And that was the urinary system. We still got another page to go. So I don't know where I would be if I did not know of this snipping function because it has been a life. Oh, that's actually the last one. Wow, okay. So we have a total of actually 11, right? Two, four. Six, eight, we have 11 of these, which means if I just reorganize this, I'll have room for some other stuff that I can put on the sides. But since I don't want this to take up so much space, I'm actually going to um, expand this since I want this to have all that space, since I want the width to be longer. So um, you can see, obviously, there's a lot of excess space on the sides, and I could just leave it like this and have like all the other pieces organized on the sides, or I could just have it take up, you know, the whole page. It doesn't really matter, uh, but I do want to get rid of this bottom empty space down there. Um, I'm gonna do that by adjusting this, so it's only like 25, I think, is good enough? Maybe? Okay, looks like I can expand this a little bit more, like that. And then I'm just gonna fix some of this. I don't even know if this is gonna do anything. You know what? It's good enough. So I'm gonna move this part down. That way I can add a little title. Um, up here, I'm just gonna title this just 1.21. Now that's tiny and it's bigger. 1.21 body systems matching activity. Yay, it's fitting perfectly. All right, so now that I have all these pieces, 
Um, oh, I, I need students to be, to be able to read all the small pieces. So if I just go, let's, let's go back here, open this up. So students have this, and man, this is a lot of sleeping. It's gonna have to happen here. Um, oh, I guess I should go to the little hint over here. And then write functions. I'm gonna enlarge this. Functions and key structures. Maybe key structures should come first. Key structures and functions. Maybe seven. Let's I'm gonna download this as a background. I mean, download this as a like a JPEG and then upload it as a background. Just so students cannot tamper with all this work I am putting in here. Let me just format that so it's not so high up right there. All right. Um, just to give it a little touch of color. Let's make this. Flat. Mm -hmm. There's the title, 1.21, body, systems, matching, activity. And now comes the very tedious part of doing all the snipping. Which I'm not even sure how it's going to turn out. But there's a copy, and then I just put it here. Oh, it's actually, oh, this is great. Well, mm, I don't know how great this is. Let's see, if I make this smaller. I guess I just have to enlarge it. Enlarging it. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a slight problem. I mean, they can enlarge it, and then they'll just... Place it where it should be. But this, oh man, I'm gonna have to reformat this, I think. I wonder if these are in any way in order? It's probably all random. Dang it. Okay, well, if they could zoom in, I wonder what that would be like. Not that, but if they could zoom in on this. Oh, it's still kind of annoying. Um, let's fit this and. So what I can do is I can make this a little smaller, so maybe that's better in terms of seeing what actually was written on the cards. Breaks down food into its nutrient molecules. I mean, yeah, they can take turns like expanding the card and then making it smaller. Okay, so you know, I'm gonna keep it the way it was, just because I think that was fine, man. Or maybe not. You know what? Let's just leave it like that. So I'm gonna come back here and do the rest. Enter, snip. Key structures. I just did that one. Oh my goodness. New. Okay, the functions are looking pretty good now. This is just gonna take some time. Key structures. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it on the sides. I feel like that's that's fine. They can see everything on the sides. So I just did four. Oh, I didn't do the middle one over there. Man, with the amount of effort I'm putting into making this, this is why I hope a lot of people use this and find this useful in their classrooms. I feel like my efforts will then be um, worth it. Let's see, moves. I should really go in order because this is throwing me off. I have three. This is my sixth one. Okay, moving down. I could probably finish this tomorrow. Functions. Did I just do that? Man, this is so bad. Losing track of which ones I've already done. Okay, I've done that. I just did the other one. Now I have this last one to do. Here I have more. Maybe if I just highlight that, I think that would be a lot better. Be easier for them to see, definitely. A lot easier to see. And then the functions. Still see them. Oh, I'm on a groove. Go back around. Oh man, wait. Pumps blood around the body, nasal cavity. Okay, so I can move down here. And then got filter fluid. Okay, 
Man, if I don't keep track of this well, this is gonna be a huge pain to go through and find which ones I missed. Can't see. Go in the correct order here, Missy. So I just did skeletal eliminates. Okay, so we have this one, and I believe after this one I'll have one more page left. So that'll be great. Oh wait. I gotta get that one up here. Okay, and then the new function. Copy and paste, and then new structures here, and a new function. Okay, now I think I just have, ooh, one more, nice. close that because I believe that now I am done. So there's all of this that I have to just fix. I'm gonna crop these so I can make them a little bit bigger, more easy to see. You know, the thing that I can do with this is I can actually expand these. So it might look a little bit weird expanded. I'm gonna expand all of them together. That way, it'll give me space. So like, if I do like this, I know it looks ugly because it's all expanded, but it's gonna do what I need it to do, which is fit everything, more or less. This thing can be minimized. And then all these functions, I think I still have a few I need to expand. Some of these I need to make bigger. I hope this is a fun activity for them. It's really hard to get my students talking while well, some of them. The others just talk a lot. Um, I think I'm just gonna readjust these and then I will be done. So they can minimize this and stuff however they please. I think this is enough for most people's eyes to be able to see clearly. I think this one's... I can still trim it a little bit. And this stuff. And there you go. It's not exactly in, uh, yeah. So this is, this is it. Let's count these and see how many we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's 10. One, two, three, 10 plus 12 is 22. And we have 11 of these. So we have 22 of these cards. And this is perfect. I'm just going to copy and paste this. So now I have two of the same sets. Reason being, I'm going to have to delete these on the first slide. So I can download this one page. I think PNG might be better. And once I do that, I am going to come here and delete that. So I can upload the image I just downloaded as the background. Done. That way students cannot tamper with this. I know it's not perfect, it's kind of ugly, but it's the best that I have right now. And again, they can move all of these pieces. We can discuss in their groups. They should all have access to this. I'm gonna have my students make a copy. Make, oh, make a copy for your group 
share with me. Okay, so they should all have access. They can enlarge these if these are too small for them. They'll just have to click on one, enlarge it to read it, figure out where they think it goes, make it smaller again so they can you know, put it where it belongs. This is going to be a great way for me to check in with each group as they are doing this. Sort of like, so this gives me a way to like pop into each group's slide. And it's like as if I was in person rotating from table to table to see how each group is doing. And I think this is great. Um, it still gives us that rotational vibe, not rotational vibe, that feeling of a teacher being able to check in on each group in each breakout room during Zoom. So yeah, um, this will be linked in the description box below. And I'm gonna include this original one. I mean, this is the original one. Um, if you wanted to, you know, fix this for yourself. And this one as well, which is the one with the background. And, you know, I can actually, I'm just gonna make a copy of that and paste it down here. And then this one, I'm just gonna reset the background just so I can copy all of this, copy and paste it here. So that way you have both versions, just make sure you know which version is which. Um, I suggest you delete one of these or maybe make a copy for yourself and then only give your students this first one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, didn't mind me figuring out and just trying different things and eventually coming up with this one. This is basically my step-by-step -step process of trial and error trying to make these into digital versions that students can work with. And I hope you also learned how you can use this in the future to adapt other activities for group work. Thank you for watching.